This is a 34 string typical Celtic or folk harp and the problem when you're new to harps is if the string breaks which string is it and which octave is it and what's it made from. So we're going to try and explain that as best we can. So first of all you'll notice that some of the strings on the harp are red and some of them are black. Now C is always denoted as red and black or blue is denoted as F. If you imagine a piano with just the white notes, quite often the octaves go from C to C, it's not the case on a harp. The octaves go from E to E. So we say E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. And that would be an octave on a harp. And there's a historical reason for that because the earlier harps only had one semitone device to change it. And so to get most keys out of it, they tuned in E flat. If you're not musical, that doesn't really matter, but it's just to understand why they're not C to C like a piano. And you haven't got 12 notes, you haven't got any black notes on a folk harp from the standard strings. You actually create them by lifting one of the levers, but more of that later on. So the first thing to do is to find out if you have a broken string, which string is it and how do you find out? Now the strings are normally numbered. They normally go starting from one down to the bass end. But because this is a smaller harp, it doesn't start at one. It starts partly down the harp. If you can imagine this harp is part of the section of this big old concert harp here. So on this harp, the first string would be A and it would be number five because on a bigger harp, you would go up from five up to one. So we start here at number five and then we go down accordingly. So when you were looking for a string, you could say, I would like number eight and whichever note it is and you've got two ways of determining which string it is that's broken. They also have different gauges of strings. Sometimes they're uh, called standard gauge, sometimes they're called lever gauge, sometimes they're made from nylon, sometimes they're made from gut and sometimes they're wire. So your best friend is really the old string. Try and identify what it is, what material it's made from. Quite often your maker or, or the people who supplied the harp will tell you what the string gauges are so that you can order them online or look online for a typical chart. So that's the way to find out which note it is and which octave it comes from. So if the octaves go in the first place, E to E, the first octave here would have a few strings, but the second octave would have the full eight strings, and then you would go down octave by octave from the top. So We'll now talk about um, how you'd actually replace the string if it was broken, having hopefully identified which string it is. 